You guys already know that I'm a very busy person. Between doing whatever I want, breaking all the rules, and busting sick moves, that leaves barely any time to take care of me in the day. You know who else seems to share this problem with me? All men. I know that because walking through the store, you can see in the men's products are always trying to save men vital time. Three-in-one hair, body, and face wash. Three-in-one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Who knew that one type of foam could do so many things? And they've all got some very masculine sounding benefits such as giving me caffeine in my skin or just being huge. Today we're trying out these popular three-in-one men's products to see if I'm a snob or if these really are not going to be good for my skin. I have a feeling it's a mixture of both. We're in my shower area so we're about to get foamy. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me for another shower side tutorial. We've done a couple videos here. No, we've actually never done a video in this shower, but several shower related videos in my life. They always seem to be favorites of everybody. Listen, I'm all for a multitasking product, okay? I'm not like crazy. I like things that save time. <sighs> But I just have a hard time figuring out how something is both a shampoo and a conditioner and how it would be both good for your hair and your face. Because in my mind, those need different levels of scrubability and therefore should have different levels of like detergent or foaming or lathering ingredients. But what do I know? I'm just a simple gay person. These products I would imagine are more for this heterosexual male. No, maybe even for like sports people. Yeah, like if you're camping, for example, I think I would use something like this Actually, no, I wouldn't. If it were there, I would use it. I would probably just bring my real body wash because I love it, it smells good. And I would definitely bring my own facial cleanser because I'm not gonna wash my face with soap if I don't have to have to. If it, well, we'll see. I guess I'll figure out how much I'll like using it once I try it on. I'm gonna just get the shower running, but first make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more trying out of drugstore products like this. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right down there. That way you never miss new videos from me I upload two new ones every week, so turn on notifications and you'll always be in the know. You'll always know when the shower is hot and ready for us. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna get hate comments for that. <laughs> I hope that when I turn this shower on, it doesn't sound crazy and that you can still hear my voice. We'll just have to see. I don't think the sound is gonna be too bad, so off we go. I've got my two things. All right, we're getting into it. First up, from Suave Professionals, I have Men 3-in-1 Citrus Rush Shampoo, Conditioner, and Body Wash. Look how big this is. 29, no, 28 ounces of shampoo. You, uh, this would last me one full year. I guess that's kind of the point, right? Like, set it and forget it. Honey, I got you this shampoo. Do you want to use it until we get divorced? Yes. Head to toe cleansing made just for men's hair and body, because it's so different from a woman's. Thicker and more masculine. Triple Action Formula works as a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in one. Formula enriched with citrus extract, keratin, amino acids, and glycerin. All right, so a very basic formula. Water, sodium lauryl sulfate. So this will probably be more drying than my traditional shampoo and whatever else, but let's get into it. You guys, I still use my boy body scrubber, which was one of my first shower videos in my other apartment. Oh, it's like a milky white wine. Let's see how it lathers. Lathers a lot. Okay, I immediately feel like I'm taking a shower at my grandpa's house <laughs> because he always had shampoos and body washes that smelled like this. It was always like men's product from the store. Yeah, it's a nice lathery, it feels like dish soap to me almost, but it's not as drying as I thought. You can tell it has some moisturizing properties to it, which is probably why they're able to call it a conditioner as well as a shampoo. Okay, have you ever seen a man shampoo and condition his hair at the same time? You're about to get into it. What is this wizardry? Ooh, yes. Now that's a rich lather. Okay, good. So I've washed and shampooed my hair, and I guess now it's also conditioning my hair at the same time. So let's rinse. Mama. Next on the menu, a much more manageable 16 ounce size of Dial for Men Recharge 3-in-1 Hair, Body, and Face Wash. 
So we're done with the conditioning my hair. We don't need that. We just need to wash my hair. And then we need to wash my body and then we need to wash my face. This is even more wild than the one before because this is trying to say that this sodium laurel sulfate and cocamine bentatine and sodium chloride, like this long list of ingredients is meant to go on my face and be just as good as anything else. Oh, also this is caffeine and protein infused. So I'll be infusing my whole body and face and right down to the soul with caffeine feelings. Formulated with caffeine and protein to leave your hair, body, and face feeling revitalized and fresh. Not all of those parts need protein on them. I'm just saying. Clean rinsing formula with a rich creamy lather that rinses clean and leaves skin feeling fresh. How to use? Squeeze out, lather up, rinse off. It couldn't be any easier. I'm gonna literally be a foam monster right now. I'm gonna be a monster made of foam. Recharge time! Whoa. This one's green. Ooh. Do you see that? That's pretty. Ooh. Ooh. It smells really good in like a men's way. Like, I wish I had a boyfriend that smelled like this because I would be like, my boyfriend doesn't care about anything. He just like wish, puts on like soap and then I seem like so dainty compared to him, you know? Wow, I'm really, really talking a lot in this shower. <laughs> I'm washing my body and my face all in the same time, yeah. You know, it definitely doesn't feel as bad on the skin as I thought it would. I do feel like I'm gonna get it in my eyes though. Okay. I used to work for a brand on the luxury side of things that was owned by the same parent company as Dial. So, I don't know, just talking, just saying stuff. Ooh, bubbles. Oh, did you see that? I actually made bubbles. Ready, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, you guys, I'm a wizard. I hope you can hear all of this. I'm trying to get as lathery as I can. So at this moment in time, I am completely lathered up in men's body care products. Three in one, baby. I've got like six in one things going on right now. Between the hair, conditioner, body washing, face washing, ugh, protein, caffeine, citrus rush. Ugh, it could, no wonder men are crazy. They have to keep all of this stuff going on at the same time. It's like, you can be separate things, men. You don't have to cram it all into one vessel. Anyway, that's psychology. Let's rinse off. <gasps> Ow. That scared me. It's hotter. It got hot in here. Everything feels slippery. Like the moisturizing ingredients in it, like that glycerin is just sticking to me. I don't care for it. Yeah, I don't like the way this feels. Okay, we know what we know. I'm gonna hop out of the shower now. Huh, well I sure do love that fresh out of the shower feeling, but let's time to rate my cleanly. It's time to rate my cleanliness is what I meant to say there, but then I got delirious. Let me drink some water. Okay, so, <sighs> so my notes on the formulas. Nick's notes on the formulas. Suave professionals, I love the value that you offer with your one gallon tub of three-in-one citrus rush. I guess it's because it's like a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. They're like, so we should give you 10 ounces of each so that you feel really well taken care of. But really it's dish soap with um, glycerin in it is how I felt. It, w it worked. My skin feels really soft. It smells really good. Like I smell like I smell like a man, which I love. I love that. It's not how I usually smell. I love this smell on other people, but hey, I get it. You know, it smells good. Am I showing my crazy right now? Do I sound crazy? I probably do. Dial, I love the color. I don't like the appearance of this one. Too milky, looks creamy. I don't like it. Dial, on the other hand, I love the color of. It was this green, green color. And the fragrance is very, it's getting close to Irish spring where it's like that fresh green scent that they want you to have. So I preferred the fragrance of Citrus Rush a lot more. Although when they combined, it works just the same. They all kind of smell like this type of product. They all kind of smell really similar. A little cologne-y, but not too expensive. So this one, I had the pleasure of using on my face. No, my face doesn't feel good right now. I feel like I washed it too hard. And you know, I use a Clarisonic most days and I almost did with this cleanser but I'm glad that I didn't because it's like drying out my skin, which is really common when you use SLS products. That's why they're not found in a lot of shampoos and conditioners these days, especially if you have dry hair or breakage or anything like that. This will not help, but men don't need to know about that. They just need to know that there's caffeine supercharging this and proteins infusing it as well. So the smell is good. I feel clean. The rinsing clean feel, like now I do anyway, I guess cause like it's just better now. Cause when I first was rinsing it all off in there, I felt like I couldn't get it off. It's like this slippy slips 
feel on the skin that you're like, I want to scrub it off again. Like I need to redo this with a better soap or something. I realize that that's like the moisturizing and conditioning ingredients being left on the skin to kind of, you know, either add moisture to it externally or trap moisture in, in some cases. So it's fine if that's, you know, I understand that that's going to be the most body care a lot of men do and it will work. You know, it will keep you from being, no, it won't keep you from being dusty and ashy. You'll still have that issue. So men, moisturize more. If, if you're going to use these products, I would encourage you to still look into a facial moisturizer and a body moisturizer. I don't think there's anything wrong with using any of these products. I definitely would prefer to separate out each of these steps. You know, I want my conditioner and shampoo to be good for the goals that I want for my hair. So I, even as a man, don't want my hair to be thinning and breaking. So I wouldn't want to use an SLS shampoo and conditioner like this. I use one that is free of those things. So also for my body wash, I have a salicylic acid body wash to keep me from getting chest and back acne. These ones would actually potentially break me out more by adding glycerin to the mix. It can just occlude the pores. And then for my face, a same issue. I have a really oily skin, so a harsh SLS is actually going to strip the moisture barrier faster and cause my skin to overcompensate with more oil and potentially more acne. So as you can see, everybody's gonna have different needs in all three areas of their hair, skin, and body and face. So I encourage you to seek out products in each of those areas. They're, they're not gonna be expensive or any harder to use than this, but they will maybe do a little bit more to get you closer to your goals of grooming and looking your best but if you really have no problem using these products nothing breaks you out you think you look great then go for it or if you just want to keep these on hand for when you're like super dirty like when you get back from the gym or like if you did like a competition where you're like crawling through the mud I don't know what men do all in all these are not bad products to have I think they're you know they have their place in the routine so check them out if this convenience level is for you I definitely won't be using them again um, probably I'll just send them to my sister who can give them to her boyfriend in New Hampshire. So I'm gonna go back to my regular products because fun to try. I don't know. Yeah. It's not that hard for me to bring three separate bottles somewhere or to like keep them in my shower or to grab three separate bottles. Like that's actually not a huge waste of time. So let me know what you think. Do you use any two-in-one products? Two-in-one shampoo and conditioner I think it's actually probably the least offensive of all of these because it's like yeah you can just rinse the hair and then kind of be moisturizing at the same time. My hair doesn't feel that dry but let me know what you think in the comments below. Also let me know what other dry or drugstore products I should try out next that you've been curious about and more importantly make sure you click that subscribe button right down there that way you never miss new videos from me I upload new ones every single week turn on the notification bell that way you'll get updated every time I upload them you guys are all the greatest thank you for scrub-a-dub dubbing with me once again I'll see you next time